Disgusting. I don't think I'm gonna get drugged. This is the casino here. Cheers, everyone. And the terrorists, they used to hide here. <laughs> hey, Canada! All right, welcome to Montevideo, Uruguay. So let's check out the city. I know nothing about Uruguay, nothing about the city. I was just in Chile. So we'll see if it's different or not. All right, so I live next to a military base. Let's get a look at this. Before there was a military guard outside patrolling with a weapon, but it's gone. I guess they stopped in the afternoon. Looks pretty cool. I'm in the downtown right now. So I'm gonna meet a friend tonight for pizza and drinks. He's an actor friend, you might recognize him as Delgado from Get Rich or Die Trying. Leave off with his arms around Delgado, and just like that, the war ended. Absolute legend, gangster of an actor. And yeah, he's from here, so let's link up. So far the weather here is perfect, hot, but amazing breeze. All right, so I'm meeting a friend for uh, a late lunch, but I just wanted to try some empanadas quickly because I'm a little hungry. Stopped at a little mom and pop shop here and got a uh, empanada con carne y también empanada con queso y jamón. A little ham and cheese in action. Let's try this shit out. Okay. Let's try this out here. Get a little bite of this. Very flaky. Very soft and flaky. Alright. I run the bus right now. Heading down to the beach. Yes! Oh my God. Brother! Oh, I know. Yes, I like that. Perfect. So, it's best. Back. So, another brother. Beautiful. A donde es mejor. Oh. Straight lines. Colette. Wow. Side Muy grande. Para meterse en la vista. Y a. Una sola. Una bañera sola. Una bañera sola. Oh, qué bonito. Yeah, this is like a, a palace, like, that's just, ciao. Okay. For real? Dude, the chains are coming up? Yeah, yeah. What the heck? No. This is original elevator. Uh -huh. You should see the elevator from Canada, from uh, and our embassy. Yeah? They say that it's so smooth. That's awesome. That is really cool. Let's do it. <laughs> They had the old crank thing there. She used to work here. No way. This lady is working, being working here. She was, they used to have, yeah. And this place here, they, they, they took tomatoes. The, the terrorists, they used to hide here because there are tunnels. Really? Yeah, this place used to be a hotel. And they have a, a hot steam bath, no, swimming pool. Whoa, so it's fancy. It still works? No. So, wow, that's like old school. Oh, yeah. yeah. No. Love it. People live here like uh, long term or lots of short term Depends. people? There's also short term people here. Yeah. 
All the paragliding in there, or the water yeah, yeah. stuff there. And this is a, I, that's perfect, perfect to us, the Navy. Oh! You can't get in. Like, you can, you cannot cross. As soon as you cross, boom, someone is going to be there. That's the Navy, right there. That's the building. <laughs> Yes. Very flat. Very flat. Churros. Wow, look at all this. This is like Miami right down there. This is like South Beach right here. No way. Oh, this is the jail. This is the jail. This was a prison. A prison. And now it's a shopping mall. That's hilarious. Yeah, you can tell the cobblestone. No way. Everyone's drinking the mate with the thermos and the thing. Yeah, Everyone. And they have a little. And they have a little. Uh, and they have a little. Uh, uh, what do you call that? A uh, box. A wooden box. box. Yeah. And they all carry it like they're going. I have a little churro. Oh shit. Cerrado. And otra vez. It's a good idea. Pizza is popular. Today I'm going to a walking tour, which I do in every city I go to. Best place to meet people and get to know the uh, ins and outs of the city. Also get recommendations from the tour guide. They always send me a Google map with all the places to go to eat and party and what neighborhoods to check out for architecture and stuff. So yeah, let's check this out. So Uruguayan pesos. Estamos aquí, sí. ¿Dónde quieres? Está bien aquí. Sí. Gracias. Tú también. Mucho gusto. All right. We are here in Plaza Zababala for a walking tour. Let's see what we get up to. And on the other side, the beach zone. So this is like a peninsula into the river, yes? Into the estuary, a big estuary opening to the ocean. All right, so on this walking tour, and apparently I showed up exactly 300 years after the foundation of the country because right now it is january 20th what are the odds stomping around montevideo exactly 300 years after its foundation see it's exactly january 20th 300 years remember talking about eating you play with your credit Okay, don't know where we are right now. And you see there are a lot of options. For example, you have
like three. It's like six. Right? Just want to see the. Love that stuff. Yeah. Cool and like yeah, it's like Mediterranean or like nice breeze. <laughs> oh no! Like just a week. Hour, five hour ride. Just a weak body. Hey. Uh, Canada. Uh, no one knows the anthem. Let's check this out. alert I would just love to have this in my foyer This is the wall, the original wall of the fortified city of Montevideo. This is this was the original door of the day. In here the, the, there was a citadel, the, the, the heart of the defensive system of Montevideo. Uh, pretty epic. That's a mausoleum right there. Let's go and 
inside this thing. Yep. Solid marble. show me Carrasco and he was one cool guy let me tell you yo yo bro I'm right behind you hey <laughs> what do you, what do you think? I took a different bus Which one? 118 no I wasn't at home I was at um, Plaza Zalab Zabala all right fancy so you see what I mean okay Different vibes here. Oh, yeah, you just play. So it's a casino. Yep. And it was a hotel, and now it's a casino. So it's always been a casino. Oh, always been a casino. Here. Wow. So, this is the casino here. This is a photo shoot right there. You know? Yeah. Like they don't come in or out. Definitely the wealthiest street in Montevideo. Look at these houses. You know the Spanish roof? Yeah. Beautiful. In Punta Leti, you see chalet, they call it, right? Oh, yeah. All the abandoned, abandoned security. security post. Yeah. Yeah, here's where my friend lives. No way. Yeah. <clears throat> this is like luxury polo, New Jersey, 1980s living right here. It was good. That is fancy. Uruguayan fanciness right there. I feel like <laughs> I know. that's a. Hey? See, they don't realize. Did you, go, did, you, did you go to the store? Yeah, which one? Tits. Yeah, yeah. let's meet at Tits for four. Private buses. I just. Yeah. Look at this old key. All right, this is my Airbnb shared house. All right, let's go. So I'm really excited about today because I'm going to try mate for the first time. I met a girl at the shopping mall, she's Uruguayan, and she told me that this is the thing to do. So I said, please show me, please teach me the way. So we are meeting at a park that is near the water. Should be a great scene to first, for my first mate experience. Let's go. As you can see, everyone drinks mate everywhere. As you can see, everyone's got it all the time. All right, we got all the snacks for the park mate picnic experience. Now we just gotta get the bus. Let's get that 300 bus. All right, we are waiting for this girl. She is late. 
can't always be sure of these South American girls what their intentions are. Don't think I'm gonna get drugged, but you never know. Or kidnapped. But, uh, I sent some people my location just to be safe. In the meantime, look at this cute building behind me. I can't tell if that's a house or a, uh, office. Great, how are you? I'm Good. so sorry for It's that. okay. Uh, dead nice. I presume that has a lovely view from my favorite places here. This is the place to hang out. Wow. Okay, that's the summer theater in Teatro de Verano. Okay. So, I love theater. Like, I told you I'm a theater person. Yes, I wanted to know more about it. Yeah. But that's a place for concerts. No, no, not yet. Not yet. This is a mess. Okay, fine. Because it was in my back. Uh, it's made of a... Um, I don't know how to say it. A uh, vegetable. It's like... Like a plant. Like a plant, like the, the, the outside of the plant that is uh -huh. like sturdy. But uh, that one is very, very difficult to clean. And this one is very easy. And this one is cheaper. So we need to do a small mountain over here. Okay. And like make the, the shallow part there. And we put some cold water in the shallow part. Okay. Right? This one is with bubbles, but doesn't oh, you, need you to. You sparkling like uh, con gas. Yes, <laughs> I, I, I love sparkling okay. water. Okay, the Carolina extra tip. It's, it's not necessary. And you leave it like to in charge to, to swell in. Yes. It takes a while. Like you, you don't prepare a mate when you are in a hurry. You need to have some time. Chill. Chill. Yes, yes, it's, it's got not some... over all the water over yeah. there. It's like in between the shadow. Right. The, the, the greenish leaves. So now is the time to swallow up with a uh, hot water. So this is a thermo with the thing to, to pour it. And you need to pour it in the same place you put the the cold water before. So you don't stir it, like mix it? No. You let it chill? You ruin it. Oh, okay. See, it. Good to know. Good to know. Because that's what the ones that don't do well mate end up doing. So now that it's starting to swollen, but not so, not ready yet, you need to put the, the straw, the bombisha, uh -huh. like up to the bottom. This one should be a little bit taller for my mate. But I like that they were both green, so it's a, a tiny bombisha for a normal, regular mate size, mm. but a tiny bombisha. <laughs> but they they look cute, so so I don't care. Why does it have to? Why does the height make a difference? No, I I don't know. It's not aesthetic. Oh, okay. Well, you I have mean, the you, color match, so. But if you look in the internet, you, you'll know, you'll find that the, the straw is bigger than the, the mate part. Sí. Claro. So, over here, it's now swollen again, it's not wet. Okay. So now it's time to start pouring the, the mate, actually making the mate. Oh, it hasn't started yet. It, I mean, you are preparing, we are preparing. Oh, okay. It hasn't started. The first one is always the... I mean, I like the first one, but it's uh, more bitter and uh -huh. like stronger taste. Okay. So I would never give you the first one because okay. you won't like it. Very, very considerate. And you always have to put it like closer to the straw, not everywhere. Okay. The, the living the montañita over here is great. Okay. It's important to always have mate that tastes good. Okay. Because over several pourings, uh, you are like washing the sherba. So you want fresh mate to come in yes. to the equation, yes. the chemical equation. Hmm. Notice that here it looks like soapy. Yeah. Like. Yeah, like foam. Like, like uh, foam. Yeah. That always happens with the first ones. Everyone on the streets is carrying it, and I'm wondering, Everyone. is it because people are addicted? Yes. I mean, it's like drinking coffee. 
It's fun. It smells like tea. Like tea. Wow. <laughs> it's very like, yeah, like. It's like a strong tea. Like strong, yeah, strong tea. Like, like a strong tea, but a tiny amount. Should I have more? Or you wait. I mean, until you you have done the sound. Really? Yes. <laughs> oh <laughs> wow! <some> okay. <laughs> no, it's just like it's like very potent. Oh, I can already feel the uh, stimulation. Yeah, come on. Come on. <clears throat> I'm brute. <laughs> no? <laughs> it's good. It tastes so familiar. It's like... Like an herb, like a, an oregano or something. Or like a... A better tea? Yeah. Like very medicinal. Like, no? Yes. I mean, um, there, has, there has been found some medicinal properties of, of the use of Sherba as well. Because, the, you know, the soapy, the soapy thing I told you about? Yeah. Well, that kind of compounds that creates the soapy thing are called I don't know how it would be in English, but something like, uh, like minerals or something, or like cardiotonic, uh, glycosides. I think it would be. It's some sort of compounds that have um, a part that is very water soluble mm. and a part that is very lipid soluble or oil okay. soluble. Yeah. So it's the same principle as salt. So that's why they do a foamy thing. And these compounds make like an effect in them, some receptors of our heart, so their action kind of reduces the, the impact of heart failure. Really? Heart heart insufficiency, like when your okay. heart is not strong enough to, to pump all the blood you need. Woo! <laughs> Alright, I, I don't know if I'm filming right. sure you're doing it perfectly, you're a master student. But not of filming with this kind of thing. Oh shit, too much, too much, no, no, no. but there's it's some foam there. It's fine. Some fun. Tranquilo, calma, Luca, calma. It's fine. Poco más. Poquito más. Because you've seen that the whole water that was over here has swollen the shadow. Don't be afraid. I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm so scared. Oh, shit. Okay. You need to keep the, the mountain always. That's like always number one mountain. rule. Number so how, only rule, keep the mountain. So how bad would it be if someone just started spraying water all over like that? It'd be like... Terrible, terrible. So we are making progress here. We are here. making progress. We have uh, drunk a lot. Like yep. okay. More than half the thermal. More than half. So it's time to turn it around because it's not that tasty right now as it was before. So we need to take it out. So now we have a hole here where, where the bombisa was placed. So we need to like fill this hole with this sherba that's already wet and not so tasty. And we need to create a new one over here. You're making a whole new hole. I'm making a whole new hole. So now it's not so important the mountain thing because we are getting out of good sherba. We need to start uh, pouring water over here now that we have all this new sherba so it will make it tastier. So there's no more mountain. This, uh, the montaña I mean, is no mass. I mean, you can, you should try not to make a pool out of it. I mean, the water should not be over here. It always like in this middle section. Okay, let me see. It's a pouring. It's the same process. Probably the first one doesn't taste so good. 
and you see how it's swelling a lot again. Mm. That's because we have a lot of dry sherba right now. The soapy thing again. <laughs> The sound. Mm. Did you ever? I haven't done the sound. I tried. I was like sucking really hard. Couldn't make the sound. Try harder. Okay, so it's not that bitter as the first one from the first half of the mate. Okay. But wait, you said this mate is the bitter one or the sweet one? There's... No, the bitter one. It's the bitter one, okay. I mean, the sweet one, the Argentinians would pull like a spoonful of sugar, like right now. Disgusting. A lot. I mean, not all Argentinians, but it's more common that Argentinians drink sweet mate than your one. Well, that tastes good. You see the difference? Mm hmm. <laughs> hey, hey, Uruguay, Montevideo, Carolina, Mate. <laughs> the theme park here. This is more of the child's park. All right, just said bye to Carolina. It was a great Mate experience in the park with the sunset. And yeah, I'm feeling a little bit stimulated. Not as bad as coffee, but uh, definitely it's gonna be tough going to sleep tonight. Good time though.